That's a good one. That's a much better fish. Oh, and he's an acrobat too. Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm out here doing some chain pickerel fishing. Um, I'm out on the Severn River. It's about mid-November and it's about that time of the year where the pickerel start to pick up. And they're super underrated fish in my opinion. They're very fun, not hard to catch. And if you follow my channel, you know I love Northern Snakehead. And to me, I've always looked at them as mini snakehead, so they bite through pretty much the whole winter, so they get me through the winter. But anyway, basically I'll just be fishing this creek, or this cove, and just be cast casting to timber and other like rock structure up on the shoreline. Like I said, they're not very hard to catch, and I'll be throwing an eighth ounce uh, jig head with either a paddle tail something that I got here which is a new bait from high octane custom baits called the torpedo spin so both have proven to work well for pickerel in the past for me so yeah let's get to it got him got him Little guy. Hey. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Mini freaking snakehead. There we go. Gone with the torpedo spin. Yeah, buddy. That's not a bad one. It's probably like 18. Look at how pretty these fish are, though. So pretty. All right, all right. All right, I'm gonna get this guy released. Thank you, sir. So that fish just came from that laid down timber right there and basically what pickerel will do is there's about one to two feet of water off the shoreline for about five to ten fifteen feet and they'll sit on that first drop off or tucked in to the timber and they'll wait for bait to come by them and that torpedo spin came by them and I think he like short struck it first and then he came back for it. It's kind of weird, but anyway, I'm gonna keep casting and hopefully that's the first of many. Ooh! <laughs> he followed it right to the boat and hit it. Basically on the top. Oh my god. Foul hook. Bring it around here. I don't know how that happened. You must have swiped and missed pretty good. No. 
goodness. I'm not gonna get them on board or anything. I'm just gonna get this hook out of here. So I hope you're alright. Got him. <laughs> and there he goes. or following the bait a decent bit and then hitting but I've noticed them do that a lot in the past before they will find the bait and follow it for a while and then decide whether to hit or not I think that's why I've had so many short strikes by the boat so I'm gonna focus on keeping my bait uh, towards the bottom as I'm pulling it off the structure. That's a good one. That's a much better fish. Oh, and he's an acrobat too. That was awesome. That's a good one. Come here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, he darted out and smashed that thing. I almost got hung up on a branch. I ripped it off the branch, and as soon as it popped off, smashed it. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, he flipped the hook. I think he's about the size of the last, maybe slightly smaller, so I'm not going to bother measuring him. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, GoPro, start recording. I accidentally turned the camera off. Okay, buddy. But, uh, I made what I thought was a bad cast and I went to retrieve it real quickly and. Nope. Oh, there it goes. And, uh, as soon as I reeled up the slack, there's a fish on. Well, that works. That works. Again, that was another spot out in this deeper water, but I just made a really short cast. I wanted to get it further out so I can cover more distance, but apparently that was enough. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for me today. Ended up being a really good morning altogether. Actually, before this, I went out with Eddie Weber and we did some pickerel fishing also. And then I obviously came out on the kayak to get a late morning session, which ended up being a really good bite. So I'm stoked. It's my first day back pickerel fishing this winter. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. And uh, all the fish I got today were on the high octane custom baits torpedo spin medium action rod and three to four thousand series reel uh, but yeah thanks for watching and make sure to like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time